Listen, come on, kid, knock it off. You're making me look bad. All right, kid, what's your angle? Three chocolate bunnies for me and marshmallow peeps for everybody. Too rich for my blood, kid. My father's a liar. <laughs> I love you, Cuddles Bear. It might be okay. There's some curtains. Come on, it stinks. It's not like I wanted a mansion. Just someplace nice with someone who loves us. You know, family. Soon you'll be home with me once upon a December. I wasn't talking about grub. I was talking about all your complaining. So what else is new? It's always something with you. Cookie, I'll make you a deal. You go to the doctors and I'll stop giving you such a hard time. You promise? Promise. An old peasant woman changed into a fairy and cast a spell on me. All because I gave her water. I was just kind to her. Whoa! Man, he, he talks. What's your name? Can you fly? A lot of times, things were bad. Dad was always yelling at us for messing up, and Mom, she was never around. So, who's Radar? Well, we do him favors, and he protects us. We call him Radar because he always knows when trouble's coming. James, Kim, school bus Hi, is Daddy, here. Bye, Daddy. Bye, Mom. <coughs> but I do need your help with this. Well, sure, Daddy. But I don't get it. You know all about computers. No, that is Lexington. Who's Lexington? Mr. Hercules, kiss my son and fly an Aphrodite doll. Uh, <laughs> Calista, big boys don't don't kiss dollies. Kiss my dolly now! Kiss her, kiss her, kiss her, kiss her! <laughs> Mr. Hercules, kiss my dolly! <laughs> Nuka, where's Kovu? Did you leave him out there on his own again? Mother's gonna be mad. She told you to watch him. Yeah, right. Why don't you tell that to her? Yeah? Don't think I won't! Oh, yeah? <laughs> Here's your chance. A lion and a hyena? Hmm. What's taking Mom so long? Nuka, Nuka, Nuka. Hi, my name's Little Red Riding Hood. I'm going to visit my dear old grandma who lives all alone. Well, bye! Oh, Grandma! What big eyes you have. Oh, Grandma, what big ears you have. Oh, Grandma, what big teeth you have. Oh, Grandma, what a big uvula you have. Hurry, Papa, or you'll be late for your job at the factory. He can't go. He's just a kid. I'm older. Let me go. No fair, no fair, no fair. He always gets to do the exciting stuff, and all I get to do is laundry. I am going to put a lot of starch in everything you wear. Uncle Boris, since I'm not a baby anymore, I don't need a babysitter. And you can tell that to my father. Come on, Alu. You'll always be my baby, no matter how old you are. Oh, you're hopeless. Let's go. What's going to happen when a human picks me up, huh, Papa? Who are you going to baby then? I know who I am. I am Malou, daughter of Balto and Jenna, who happens to be a purebred husky. Who are you? Uh, yeah, do you have a Mr. Anonymous? Uh, party of two. Everyone knows who Anonymous is. They do? Yeah, he's like a famous poet. Huh? Sure, every time we read a poem at school, it's always by that guy, Anonymous. So, then in the third grade, oh, that's when I first started wearing my hair in two brats instead of one, okay? But then, Jenny Stiletto starts going around with the same hair like she thought of it first. Can you believe that? This is me, Eliza Thornberry, part of your average family. I got a dad, a mom, and a sister. There is Donnie. We found him. And Darwin? We found us. Oh, yeah, about our house. It moves. Because we travel all over the world. You see, my dad hosts his nature show, and my mom shoots it. Okay, so we're not that average. And between you and me, something amazing happened. And now I can talk to animals. It's really cool, but totally secret. And
And you know what? Life's never been the same. Please, Dad, my road test is tomorrow and you haven't taught me anything. Dad, we can't leave now. My entire life depends on getting my license. If I can't drive, I'll never have any boyfriends, I'll never get married, and then I'll have to adopt a kid like Rosie O'Donnell. Guess what, Mom? Dad crashed the car into the city cable transmitter. What? Oh, it's okay. If I take the blame, he's gonna buy me a convertible when I get my license. Hey, chill. Your breath is nudie fresh. I just have to be home early. I stayed out late last night and got in so much trouble, you don't even know. How early are we talking? Oh, you know, sometime around 10, 23, and 15 seconds Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> it's this whole lunar cycle thing. Hi, is Jake here? You must have the wrong house. My brother's never dated anyone as pretty as you. Actually, my brother's never dated. <laughs> really? He's such a sweetheart. This one's a really cool customer with a sweet ride. Nice to meet you, space boy. I'm Sirthana, and this is my sister, Corleone. We've been enslaved by that horrible beast. It makes us work constantly. So where do we go next? Anywhere you ladies want. You know, sis, I think he's earned a small token of our appreciation. But, like, what about the wilderness challenge? Really? I, like, get that exact same feeling. Mom says it's gas. You two up for this? No crab. We're, like, not afraid of wild animals. We once had a guinea pig. Though I've been frightened many times, I've also enjoyed this adventure. It allowed me to be something other than a princess. I was able to be myself. A girl. It sounds like being a princess isn't that easy. It isn't sometimes, but I love this country. Everyone in the castle, the children, all my citizens, really. So, Peter, the dance is only a few days away, and... I asked Miss Brant from the Bugle. Wow, that's great. Um, you don't actually call her Miss Brant in person, do you? Never mind. You know, I'm sure you two will have the best... She turned me down. Well, she is totally missing out. Besides, she's not the only girl who would... Doesn't matter. There's no way I'm going anywhere near that stupid formal. Right. Stupid formal. It's okay. Just be careful. Thanks, Gwen. You totally rock! Glad you noticed. It's okay. He's with me. I'm Jojo, the band's manager. Sly Tyler, vocals, six-stringer. Burrito Bo on the big bottom, and Leon Adler on the skins. But Sebastian isn't. And now that fruitcake fan has become a major menace. But now he's turned violent, and it turns out he's... He's... An Evo that can multiply himself. We can't handle that kind of threat, but you can. Is this a job offer? As head of security for the rest of the tour. Hey, Einstein, did you see our logo? That stands for Goggle Girl. As in the delivery service? You haven't heard of us? Um... No. Nothing is cuter than a girl on a scooter. Kind of hard to miss. Oh, it's the worst slogan ever. But... but... my goggles! Part of our costume. The boss buys them in bulk. Along with these cheesy wigs he makes us wear. It's kind of lame. I've been looking for you, Mr. Horton. You probably can't even understand me, but I need your help. I need you to do something for me. But the only way you're gonna do it is if I give you the worst earache you've ever had in your life. Sorry. I've got intel. Something S.H.I.E.L.D.'s been keeping quiet. The Incredible Hulk was captured by Ross's Hulkbusters four days ago, but there's no trace of him. He's off the grid. Gone. Yep, other networks may have Shark Week. But that's expensive, and scary, and way too sharky for a webcam show. So this week on iCarly, it's Duck Week. Oh crap, look at the time. <laughs> we'll be back later with more iCarly Duck Week. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> okay, and off. Oh man, I wonder what the world record for a shower is. Oh god, it's cold! Oh wow, I didn't know the iCarly eye nipples got that hard. Oh, those are some glass cutters. I'm starving. What's for dinner? Tarantulas. Are you serious? Contrary to popular belief, tarantula venom isn't fatal to humans. Duh. And later this season on... Thornberries! Wild as 
guys, check this. My doctor says I may be able to lose the back brace in three years. What's the matter, Jules? You didn't say goodbye to Wayne. Yeah, do you have an issue with Wayne? Because he's our best guy friend. About the whole great hunt thing. Thanks. It'd mean a lot to Brayden that you stuck with it. Figure I ought to at least finish this for the old man. Thanks. I already said that, didn't I? Great Hunt was Brayden's dream. Talked about it for years. The day he told me he'd found you. Should have seen him. Grinning and laughing so much, I thought his face would split in half. A little girl came to play and picked me up with a big grabber. I almost got to go home with her, but the grabber dropped me and I ripped. Now, no one ever tries to pick me up. <laughs> because no one wants a broken toy. Of course, you'd still be on training wheels, Cade. Think I could test drive the Cody. We're getting rescue vehicles, not go karts. Oh, come on, faster! We're being outrun by a bulldozer. I do not understand. Not so slow. Fly low. Understood. Ugh. I noticed a glitch or two with my copter, but at least I had it under control. Emergency call forwarding on. The Fame Restaurant goes here. The Mega Movie Plex there. Our town is extremely safe. <laughs> well, most of the time. <laughs> well, let's hope so. A few problems make this place affordable. A lot make it not worth developing. Whoa. That's your team. We may need to make the hotel bigger than we thought. We have plans for a new Old Town area on the docks. How can I help y'all, sweetheart? Are you guys having a psychic conversation? Because I can't decide if that's cool or really rude. Could you teleport us to Tornado? Or Morrow to a cell? Or force his bots to surrender? Or create peace on Earth for all time? The Tara couldn't even do all that, and I'm nowhere near on my dad's level. I need to know a spell cold, or else have time to prep it. Plus, all magic requires energy, which usually has to come from within. I just can't make the impossible happen at will. I've reinforced Rocket's force bubble with my magics. Blue's not going anywhere. Ear of the rig tagged you know I've slept me. We don't have time for this! Oh, star writer Imsamin, Stiaga Hagarito! It worked. Jaime and Bars Oum are back in control of their own bodies. Because the ritual used magic of human origin, Fate, a lord of order, could not perform it. So he prepped me instead. Because it took months for me to learn the ritual. And not to mention, configure the ancient Bialian incantations to work in concert with my magic. Break for smoothies? Don't count on it. Yes, I thought you'd forgive me. You guessed wrong. Calm down, mister. But I'm all warmed up. I can hurt you. You say the sweetest things. This exercise is over. Not till I say so. I can hurt you. A girl could crush on you. You need to work on your stage presence. I can make you disappear. That trick always kills. Stand back. I'm going to try magic. Nothing up my sleeve. I will make my father proud. My gift comes with responsibilities. I think someone needs a little magic in their life. You've been a wonderful audience. Tonight's the night of the Crimson Moon. A mystic eclipse that occurs every hundred years. Delish! Evil magic is particularly strong tonight. Don't underestimate yourself. Little secret? When goblins want to scare themselves, they tell Batman stories. Magic 101, Batman. Never leave personal things behind. That's how Knight cursed your car. There's a mysterious legend about an early manned mission years ago. After passing through a strange space mist on their way back to Earth, the astronauts lost control of their ship, and Houston was at a loss to explain what happened. Legend has it the ghostly spirit came back in the ship's space capsule and has been haunting NASA ever since. Even today, when anything goes wrong, everyone blames it on the space vector. Ahem. <clears throat> Does this look like a puppy pool to you? Because it doesn't look like a puppy pool to me. Do you see any other puppies? Oh, look! No puppies. Honey, check the VIP tag. And besides, aren't you a little small for such a big pool? I'm big where it counts. Ma'am. Oh, that is really cute, honey, but you don't belong here. 
So go on, scram. Choo. Well, well, well. Princess Samira has given those annoying little genies the green burst gem. I need these plants for my magic potions, but I can never get anything to grow in my garden. I know what you're thinking, Nazbu. You're thinking, I should have that green burst gem. I don't understand. The lions are ships? Are they like flying statues that you ride on? Yes, it's too bad we're not allowed inside. I would love a tour from one of the knights. But I guess the big one is in charge, huh? You have to obey his orders. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Finally! I have been waiting so long for Xander to come up here! What took you so long? I have been so lonely doing everything by myself. Playing video games alone, talking to my imaginary narrator, playing Ring Around the Rosie, which goes on forever because after they all fall down, they all get back up as zombies! Oh my god, I'm so happy you're here! And I'll be your friend, a real friend who won't try to bash your brains in with a crowbar. The kind of friend you can really, really, really trust and do everything with and tell your secrets to. And we could brush each other's hair and talk about our favorite dead celebrities and who we'd want to dig up. Oh, it'll be perfect.